Hello everybody and welcome to the Game Shed with me, Jamie. Today I am playing Odalus the Dark Call. This is an NES Metroidvania homage. This, indie developers, is how you make a retro style game. So I'm going to spin through maybe 10 minutes or so of this game and just show you from the beginning how incredible it is. There it is, Odalus the Dark Call. Let's do this. I'm pressing start, joypad control, I've already started a game, I'm just going to start a brand new game. Let's go into play and let's start a brand new fresh game so you can all see what's going on. Haggis used to be a fearless soldier until war was no longer needed. There's Haggis, his name's Haggis. He had lost the one he loved but a child remained a son. To provide for him, Haggis often left the village to hunt alone. Why is he called Haggis? He hunted and sat by campfires countless times before. Still, this night felt different. The fire talked to him. The man felt empty, as if his essence was drawn away, and there were there were some words. Blah, blah, blah. Look at those graphics. Straight away, um, you'll have seen a lot of retro Esque or games claiming to have that re retro feel to them um, of late that look nothing like this, that don't feel right, they don't look right, but this ticks all of the right boxes. This really, really is incredible. Okay, so here's my map. Recognize it looks very similar to sort of Ghouls and Ghosts. Um, so Let's go to location, and off we go. Right, so we have a jump, and we have a slice. Gotcha, mofo. Ah! Right, don't, don't try hacking them up on the stairs. Now I've got axes. Press the sub-weapon button to use it, so you can see on the left-hand side of my screen, I've got five axes, and you can push and pull objects. This looks absolutely stunning. So your health is uh, denoted by the heart gauge, obviously. Ah! Okay, so you can jump down here by pressing down and jump, but I don't want to do that. I want to go up here and have a little wonder. Over we go. Now, I believe, from what I've read, there are over 50 types of enemy in this game. That's more than enough to keep even the biggest critic happy. I am getting absolutely spanked. Okay. At the moment, I can only carry 10 um, axes. Uh, later on, you'll be able to carry multiple weapons. Um, and more inventory as well, depending on how far you progress and what you do and how you level up. Right, over we go. Let's push this block in place. Oh god, I don't like these guys. Right, it's time to use an axe. Ah, your ball bag. Right. Jumpy jump. Yes. Got a weapon bag. It'll increase your total by five. So now I can carry 15 axes. Which is nice. Coins. So if you look on the right hand side of the screen, you can see I've got 22 orbs. They call them orbs. That'll enable me to go shopping later. And I've got a full quota of hearts. I'm going to try and not be quite so dog poo. Up you go. Go on, Jamie. As soon as I said that, I fell straight down a hole twice. And jump. And there's the shopkeeper. Welcome. Welcome. Okay, so. I don't need health. Um, I could buy a Talisman of Rebirth. Now, the more of these you collect... Um, you can see on the top left hand corner I think if you fill a certain quota of them you get to respawn or something I don't know 
Uh, I'm actually going to buy 10 more axes. Take my quota to 15 and exit. I'm just going to have a little wonder over here. Yep, I've done all of this. And here's a checkpoint. Just with all good Metroidvania games, there's fire and moving platforms. And um, I think there's something like 10 different types of spiked obstacles in this game to contend with as well. And the old obligatory jumping fire. I'm not going to go this way yet. I'm going to go back this way. I don't want to go this way. I want to go up. Up we go. And let's go left. Yeah, buddy. God damn you. Orbs galore. 100 now. There's one of the spike pits. Two of the spike pits. Uh, can't get up there yet. I absolutely love the music in this game as well. One of my favourite musical scores. Um... For a long time in terms of retro gaming who are you they have absolutely hammered me let me in thank you nice bowl of soup and another checkpoint so, in this game, the further you get, um, the more you realise that you will have to go back and explore, you see, to unlock paths which you once crossed. Go away, you little sh... Okay need to find a key. Come on, do your fire thing. Or don't. Right, so, yep, I know where I am. No need to go here at all. Ah! Really, I'm going to need to visit a shop or something very soon. Come on, boy, up you go. Now, I need to find a key, and I need to unlock that door. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, sub-boss. Right, what's your game, mate? Aye! You ain't got nothing on me, boy. You cannot fight the mighty axe thrower. Took a cheeky little jab at him there. Yeah, buddy. Key. And back we go to unlock the door. Really should stop at a shop. Otherwise, this is all going to go, Pete. Okay, you are no match for the mighty swordsman, Haggis. So odd, I named myself after sheep bladder filled dirty Scottish dinner. That's how hard Haggis is. Big block, can't move this yet, and you won't be able to move this for some time. Ah, oh, balls, hate this guy. He's no match for the mighty Jamie. Shop. Thank you. Uh, let's grab some of them. Let's grab... Chicken. Grab some more of them. I've still got 45. Don't need anything else. Right. On we go to the, uh, I believe, the first boss. 
Chief, Gale's men are attacking the village. This is treason. Have you seen my boy? Boy? Men? Who cares about those feeble souls? What in the name of gods are you saying? Gods? Our gods are dead. Old and new. I'm my own god now. I will feast on your flesh and soul. Uh oh. Oh gosh. Oh, poo. Meh. Meh. Ah, yeah, come on. Right, slice, slice. Slice that boy's belly. Running out of axes. Oh, shoot. Come on, boy. What you got? Ah. Yeah. Ah. That's it, ma'am. Shh. Ah, bolts wasn't looking. Oh, no. Ah. I got this. And now, you go all the way back. So I'm going to leave this here guys. Um, if you want to check out Odalis the Dark Call, jump on Steam. It's um, £10.99, came out on the 15th of July. Um, it's a very, very good game, very good, very good price to pay for what essentially feels like it should have come out in the late 80s. Um, it's phenomenal. If you like retro gaming, you can do yourself a lot, lot worse than to get Odalis, the Dark Call. And we're back at the shop. Thank you. Uh, oh, go on. I'll give it one more go. Yeah, balls. Really dislike this geezer. Wasted. Come on. Nah. We go hard. Come on. Mm. That is how you deal with a boss. I found a red stone shard, don't you know? Right, guys, thank you very much for watching, and I'm going to leave it there. Um, leave a comment below, and remember to hit the thumbs up and subscribe. So thanks a lot for watching, and until next time, I'll see you later.